Pokemon Report 7 of the 90 number 9 playthrough, where we'll be fighting Dinatron in the power plant. Enjoy this episode. Sure. Right, so today in the power plant, we want a Dinatron, and uh, we got Blandish last time, so uh, Dinatron is going to be a lot easier, because Dinatron is like a thousand times harder if you don't have Blandish. So, uh, let's start this level. These two things. He kind of. That, that guy is completely overreacting. Ow. Oh, yeah, and the, the cool thing is when the lights go out, all the enemies stop, uh, stop attacking because the power's out, which I think is a really cool design. And I only discovered it like today. But yeah, I think it's really cool how you, like, the enemies stop attacking. This stage is actually a pretty short stage. I can actually do this stage pretty fast now. It isn't actually too difficult. It's actually, I actually quite like this stage for its extra lives. It has lots of extra lives in it. Yeah, this stage. If you do this, then you can do that. This part the easy way. Apart from that one. I don't know why I'd set up the, the way that one of them you just can't do. Oh no, I always go for the extra lives, even though you stop like, you, you have. Yeah, you start with nine. You always have max eyes. Yeah, that's quite. That can be quite confusing when you first get there, because you either thought that you'd go the top way to survive. I can't believe I just dashed out the way of that one. Oops. Oops. Right, we will have seismic ability, so we can just smash these out the way. Uh, smash the leaves. Ow. But that wasn't very fair, it just appeared on top of me. Ow. Smash. How did that guy not. Uh, I don't know. Absolutely. And because we have Brandish, he's just gonna smash through everything. Oh no, it does. I mean, they can't actually do anything to me. And now there's this part with loads of turbines. And these turbines kill you in one hit. Them turbines can be annoying because on this part they're quite annoying because there's a hard part and you'll find out very soon. You know, I never used to realize how overpowered that this like super thing is. Like, this, the three sides in the stage, there's not so many. That one's just on the main path. Yeah, that four can be annoying. I've died on there several times and walked off there. Probably should have jumped when the power was off, but I still made it past. Now, back to the seismic suit. Keep pausing. Don't know why he has to scream that loud. And now Dinatron is getting angry at him. Right, and uh, now we're at Dinatron. Now we're at Dinatron. Oh, 
So now we're uh, down to this, this suit brandishes makes this fight so much easier because it takes so much up. I won't actually know how you do that properly, I think you just press that button up. Oh no, I thought we were going to draw it now. I completely forgot how to actually do the boss battle. How did that trigger halfway? I didn't even get her halfway, but that actually makes the boss harder because she has more health and she's more powerful. Or not. Sometimes if she has non electric no electric things then she does electric then there'll just be nothing there. How did I just die? I don't know how I just died there. I thought I had like full health and I just wasn't paying attention. Why did half of them bullets just go through the floor? I've never seen that happen before. Shields. Bomb. You get them little things off the car, I don't know. Yeah, that, that, that's our attack. It isn't actually that hard, but it's sometimes if you don't have this and you don't chop the little things off, that you, then they're actually annoying. And I have beat Dinatron. And now you get to see the next suit. After a round, let's see what one I Big, I'm pretty sure that's my best one I've got. And that is the new suit, the electricity ability. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Nightingale Nine playthrough. Enjoy me in the next episode. Bye.